Hi beauties, it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper and it's time for free tutorial Friday. So I am going to make a card. If you go to my blog, beautyandthestamper.com, you'll see the sketch that I posted earlier this week and I said I would do a card. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that card using the sketch and I'll put that in right here so you can see it. And what we're going to do is we're gonna use the new Unbounded Love stamp set. And then we're going to use the Unbounded Love dies. These are brand new, just came out. And we're gonna be using this little circle here and then just a little bit bigger circle here. I love this set because it has so many words and um, so many dies, but the dies can be used for so much. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you and move that out of the way. I'm going to be using a basic black for my base and that is cut right in half at four and a quarter um, by or four and a quarter by five and a half. So then I've got a piece of basic white. This is for the inside because you can't really write on the uh, inside of black. So this will be for the inside and that is four by five and a quarter. This is another piece which is the same size, four by five and a quarter. We've got this one here and this one is five and a quarter by three. And then this, this is the Unbounded Love Designer Series paper. And so to make it easy, I just took the opposite side and this is what was there. And I kind of cut that at five and a quarter and then tore around about a one inch strip. So really quick, really easy card. Any DSP um, can use it and then you just choose a color that you want that are, is going to go in here and choose a base that's going to go well. So let's go ahead and put this together. I'm going to first put, well, first I'll get my card base so I can see easier. <laughs> and I'm going to just burnish that down so it stays nice and flat. We're going to take my, um, Tombow Mono Multipurpose Glue. And we're gonna add that right to the backside of this here, of our base. And I'm gonna stick that one right down in here. And I'm gonna leave that a little eighth of an inch all the way around. Oh, I put it down too quickly. You know what I love about glue? Is it sticks really fast, but if you take it off fast enough, you can get that out. So don't do that. You're gonna put that on later because I forgot that there is a, um, there is some ribbon that's gonna go on here. So silly me. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this one here. Now you could have used the other side as well. But we're gonna try and get this on using this same paper. And I'm gonna choose the side that I want up because I do want those flowers blooming up. And I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch on this side and it's gonna be flush with the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna put that down, just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same here, and I'm gonna put that glue here, and I'm gonna kinda of put it around the edges. Now, if you want another step that you could do is to 
uh, brush those edges with a blending brush to with any color that you want that is kind of matching. So I'm going to put this one right in the middle of this paper. And again, this is cut also at five and a quarter, so everything's going to be flush. So you'll see that. And the glue on this side is kind of now just tacky, so I'm not too worried about it sticking anywhere. I'm still going to go on this side, though. So we've got that. All right. Now, <laughs> now what we can do is put our ribbon, and I'm not a very good bow tire, so I'm putting the ribbon, and I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to put some adhesive. I'm going to put that around on that side, put that around on that side, and that's going to hold that in place. Then I'm going to take this other piece of ribbon, since I don't want to tie bows, and I am going to slide this under. But to make everything easy and not tacky, I'm going to go ahead and put some more glue right around the edges and then right back over here again. So not too bad. It's going to be tacky again, so those tacky spots will hold. And then this will go right in there. So sometimes you have to pay attention to the order. So now you know why it's free tutorial and not a paid tutorial. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but now I have that tied down. It's stuck in place. We didn't have to use a lot of ribbon because we stuck it on the back there. And now I'm just going to take this piece. And just go like this. And we've got a nice little piece there. And I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take my ribbon scissors, works better. And we will put an angle on here. And the same here, we'll put an angle on here. And there we go, a nice little piece there. You could do it right across if you want. Just like that. I think I'm gonna cut this one down just a little bit more. So you do what you wanna do. And now we have a nice faux bow, just like that. Okay, now in the, um, sketch there's a piece right here and remember I told you I'm going to use these here so I have the larger circle cut out in the black and then we're going to stamp on a white piece and I'm going to get out my memento black remember I made this memento black on my own with a craft pad and a Memento ink refill. So we're gonna take the Hello from Unbounded Love. We're gonna stamp that there, perfect. And then we're gonna put the smaller circle and run that through the mini because it's gonna fit right through the mini perfectly. I was putting this away, but I need to still stamp. So we're going to put that through there, and now let's stamp on here. When I do the inside of the cards, I do not um, put that in first and then stamp, because you never know if you're going to mess up or not. So there's that. You are loved so pretty. Did not mess up, but you never know. Even closing these sometimes, you'll um, get your hands a little smudgy. And now we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and put 
the adhesive and we will glue that white dot to the black dot as well. There we go. Look at how beautiful that looks. And now we've got the front and we've got the small white hello um, die cut out. We've got the black one die cut out. And I think we'll pop this up a little bit. So I'm going to get my stamp and dimensionals out. And we'll just put, uh, I'm going to put three. I normally don't need to. You can get away with one or two. But I'm going to do three because we're putting it on ribbon. So I want to make sure that it also holds down. There we go. And we've got our hello. And we can just put that right here. We've got our bow, so pretty. And there we go, we've got our card. You can of course embellish this with anything you'd like. Maybe some little dots or um, embellishments, gems. But there it is, that's our card. And I think it looks pretty nifty and uh, enough like the sketch. Let me know what you think and I will put the instructions to this on my blog beautyinthestamper.com and I'll also put it in the newsletter. If you are not subscribed to my newsletter, you will be asked if you'd like to subscribe when you go to beautyinthestamper.com. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye!